Good morning, Valley. Thank you so much for joining us on Daytime at 9. I'm Mary Avila hanging out here in McAllen at IMIS, and I'm here with President Julie, who's going to be talking to us about their brand new bug exhibit that's coming to the Valley in just a couple of days. So good morning, Julie. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. Really excited because I get to see all these bugs behind me. Tell me more about this great exhibit. This exhibit is over 6,000 square feet. It's going to be not only in our science pavilion, but also in our art gallery. So we've expanded uh, the area very nicely. Yeah. We also have some bugs outside. We have some bugs at the airport. So we have bugs everywhere. Yeah, you can't miss it. Actually, when you're driving down Olana, you have a pretty big bug out there too. We do. It's a Japanese hornet, 25 feet long and about 12 feet high. Yeah. We're really excited. So tell me why we're excited mostly because it, it, this is the first time in Texas that we're going to see something like this. That's correct. Um, the bugs exhibit has not been in Texas before, so mm -hmm. we're premiering it here in Texas. We're mm -hmm. super excited because um, we have a lot of bugs in Texas and we grow a lot of crops and bugs are not only just beneficial to the crops and things like that, but they're also beneficial to us. So the whole reason for the bugs exhibit here is to show why we need bugs in our lives, even though a lot of people go, ooh, gross, X, you know, creepy crawl. Exactly. They're fun and interactive, I hear. And actually, the one that's putting it all together is the production manager, John. So, John, tell me a little bit more about it. Well, there's the 22 animatronic bugs. So they actually move, and there's actually speakers attached to them, so they actually make bug sounds. It's uh, Premier Exhibitions puts on bug displays for entertainment and for educational purposes. <laughs> so the children can see it, and uh, children for all ages can actually really enjoy this very much, actually. Yeah. You guys have been all over the place. Tell me some of the other cities you visited. Uh, this uh, exhibit just came from Kansas City. And before that, it was in Duhot, Idaho. So it uh, travels all around North America, and um, the people seem to really enjoy it quite a bit. Okay, so when we say that they're going to be moving around, explain how that really happened. Well, what happens is it takes about nine uh, tractor trailers full of equipment and uh, four service technicians, and technicians actually help set it up with the uh, museum people helping us also. So the local people help us set it up and tear it all down. How exciting! What is the reaction that you often see from uh, people that come and see the exhibit? They enjoy it thoroughly. It's, it's always been a really big draw for all the museums that we go to and it helps with attendance and mm -hmm. it also helps with uh, getting more money for them later on for other exhibits. So it's a good thing. Educationally, how do you think it benefits uh, children for instance? Well, they, they can read. Their, there's reading rails with each individual bug and uh, butterfly so they can understand how big they grow, what they eat and what they have to contribute to uh, crops and that kind of thing. So it's a very educational and it's also fun at the same time. And obviously, it takes a lot of support, obviously a lot of money to put something like this together. So we really want the public to come and visit you guys. We do. You want to um, invite them over? Yes, please come on down. We are opening this exhibit on October 9th, and it will be here until March 20th, 2017. So if you can't make the first week, you can come in for Thanksgiving, Christmas, spring break, whenever you can. And if you want to do a repeat, we would love to have you. Absolutely. Bring the family. Bring them all. Come on over. And this exhibit costs how much to get in? It is an $8 upcharge from our general admission, um, except for our family premium members and above. So then they get in for free. So it pays off to be a member then. <laughs> it does. It does. All right, folks. So that's right. We're going to have this exhibit all the way till March. And uh, where can they find you guys? Where are you located? And what's the phone number? We're located on 1900 Nolana Avenue on the corner of Nolana and Bicentennial. And they can check us out on our website, www.theimsonline.org. Or they can call us for more information at 956-682-0123. Perfect. You can also find all the information on our website, valleycentral.com.